this is absolutely unprecedented. None of us has ever seen anything like this in our lifetimes, in our grandparents' lifetimes, our great-grandparents' lifetimes. We can only solve this if we work together. That is crystal clear. We have an acute and immediate crisis that's playing out in different countries at different speeds. We haven't hit the humanitarian dimension of this crisis. If you think about all the people around the world, that nearly 80 million people who are displaced, people who don't have the ability to socially distance, who don't have access to clean water or sanitation. So we're gonna hit waves of this crisis that can only be beaten back if we work together at scale and with really determined leadership. You know, this is a this is a crisis on a scale of uh, of a truly global emergency, and that's the way we need to respond. We've seen people step up in really amazing ways. There's a fitness guru in Ireland who hosted a challenge to do 4,000 squats for 2,000 pounds. We've had musicians like John Legend and many others playing concerts in their living room to, uh, to donate, get people to donate to the fund, gamers who are hosting fundraisers. It's unleashing so much creativity and also just so much solidarity from people around the world. It's really, it's really humbling and it's a privilege to be able to help uh, people give in this way. And this is going to run the risk of setting back so much development progress that we've made in recent years. I think what it also does though, is light a fire under us about how important the sustainable development goals are. If we had universal health coverage, which is part of these SDG agenda, if we had universal access to water and sanitation, we would be in a vastly different place for beating back this virus around the world in places that lack access to those essential goods and services. So that's what makes that agenda so important and why we need to redouble our efforts to get back on track once we get over this crisis. Every single person can make a difference in your life, in the life of your loved ones, whether you're able to give to the fund or you're able to give to your neighbor or your community in some other way. We are all in this together. This is a moment of profound global solidarity and we need to be able to exercise our solidarity muscles so that we can get through this together.